In and around that period as well uh, was quite a crucial date because um, five days before that CMAL board meeting where the builder's refund guarantee was a major issue, um, the 20th of August, Keith Brown, as the Cabinet Secretary for Infrastructure, Investment and Cities, uh, was told uh, by a, a Transport Scotland official to approve the preferred bidder award to uh, Ferguson Marine. So if there was knowledge of there being an issue around the builder's refund guarantee, certainly by the 25th of August, surely it was known on the 20th of August, and if so, why was that not communicated to the Cabinet Secretary? Um, I, I, can't, I can't honestly answer that. It's probably the simplest answer rather than dissemble. Um, if the 20th August submission was about advising ministers on the outcome of the procurement and who had come uh, top on price and quality. Um, and thereafter, um, the, the builder's refund guarantee became an issue as this process developed after the, uh, the, after the identification of the preferred bidder. Now, did someone in trans... I, I mean, I can't go back in time to the 20th of August and know... You say if it was known by the board of the 25th of August, so why was it not known by the 20th of August? I can't... I mean, I, I'm sorry. This is the problem, uh, it, it, just operating on your own and going back and looking at papers, as I can't give you an answer to that. OK, but you, you would expect, would you not, uh, in that period for that to be quite well known that CMAL had identified there being this major problem with the contract as it was being uh, outlined by Ferguson Marine? I mean, it's not unusual in procurements for issues to develop. I appreciate because of the fact that the ferries remain unfinished that things like the builder's refund guarantee, which essentially is a financial um, transaction, I mean, there was still widespread confidence that the yards could build the ships, but it is not uncommon in, in, in procurements for there to be issues which are then discussed even after the identification of the preferred bidder. I mean, negotiations and discussions go on. It doesn't mean it would have been a showstopper at that time. Okay, um, uh, we're limited in time, so I want to move on to...